What's up guys and welcome to my 300,000 subscriber Q&A as well as a very special unboxing from YouTube. Without wasting any time, let's get into this video. As you can see right here, I actually got this like three or four days ago, but I've been waiting to open it to make this video. Obviously, a lot of you guys know what this is going to be. I know what it's going to be. I'm actually really excited because this is something I've always wanted. But anyway, we are opening this up right here. We got the note from YouTube right there. Super, super sick. And there is the plaque itself, if you guys want to see that. I mean, obviously, I haven't unwrapped it yet. Presented to Max Useda for passing 100,000 subscribers. I think I'm going to keep that box as well. Just because the box looks pretty cool. I have it in good condition as well. Yeah, there it is. Still with the plastic packaging on. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much for getting me to this milestone. And I'm just now realizing that this sounds so cliche. Literally every single YouTuber, whenever they hit 100,000 subscribers, they give the same exact speech. I don't want to make this such a cliche video, but, you know, thank you guys so much. It is awesome. Actually, for the video, I'm going to put this on, if you guys see back there where I keep all my protein and stuff. I'll probably just put it right there just so it's in the video for the rest of the Q&A. Anyway, onto the Q&A portion of this video. I have all the questions that I'm going to respond to on a separate Google Doc that I have on my computer right behind me or right in front of me that you guys can't see. I'm sure a lot of you guys want to know more about me. I don't really make these kind of videos very often. Anyway, I'm wasting way too much time. All right, first question. Pull any bitches? No, I actually don't pull any bitches. A very common misconception when you get into fitness. Curls do not get you girls and gains do not get you brain. It's honestly pretty unfortunate question number two does it get better no it doesn't get better you just gotta have to fucking deal with it have people recognized you in public actually funny story yes i've been recognized in public honestly more times than i thought i would have i think i've been recognized probably 15 to 20 times all of them were at college i think the first day of last semester when i moved into my new apartment i was like filling out some form and the guy behind the desk was like do you have a tiktok account i was so shocked it was the first time i had ever been recognized literally the first day i went back to college it, it was just crazy and then once i started going to the gym I think I got recognized like every single day for the first two weeks. Do you like Nicki Minaj? I mean, I have no problems with her. I think I've told you guys before that I listen to a lot of pop music when I work out. I think there's one song, Turn Me On with David Guetta. I actually really like that song. What's your ultimate goal with fitness? To be honest, I just want to have a sick physique. That's pretty much it. How old are you? I'm 20 years old. My birthday is September 13th, 2001. Favorite game of all time? I would probably say FIFA just because I'm a FIFA nerd, but in reality, that game is so incredibly dog shit. Probably PS4 Spider-Man. I really, really like that game. How much do you weigh? Enough. I weigh too much right now. I'm 178 pounds. I think I started my bulk at 155. But yeah, I'm trying to get to 185. So that's the goal. When are you planning on getting a girlfriend? I, I, I don't know, man. Like... <laughs> I'm trying out here, okay? Where are you from? I am from upstate New York in the United States. I've actually really wanted to travel to other places in the world. How tall are you? I'm 5'8", 68 inches. How do you pronounce your last name? My last name is pronounced you say duh. A lot of people say you see duh. That's probably it. Do you take pre-workout? I actually don't take pre-workout. The reason for that is just because I have a pre-workout meal like an hour and a half before I go to the gym. I think I've shown it to you guys a couple of times. It's just a bowl of oatmeal with some frozen fruit or bananas. Say anything about South Korea. I liked Squid Game. Squid Game was pretty good. Hyun Ming Sun, good soccer player. Football, if you're from England. How long have you been working out? I started working out April 17th, was it? 2019? So almost three years now. In a couple of months, it'll be three years that I've been working out. Jeez. And I still look like shit. Do you have any siblings? I do have one older sister. She's in college currently becoming a physical therapist. What's your opinion on AOT? Also some gym music advice. AOT, super solid show. Probably one of my top three anime. I talked about this a little bit in my day in the life video. I do love watching anime. The pacing of AOT is really what sets it apart from most anime. There's literally no filler. Everything is just fucking awesome. Also some gym music advice. I mean, if you watch AOT, you have like at least 20 songs added to your playlist just from AOT. At least I do because they just slap. Black Clover, Naruto, AOT, Demon Slayer. A lot of those openings are just fucking awesome. Do you get any bitches? You know, I see a little bit of a recurring theme here. I don't know why you guys are so interested in my, in my love life, my adventures with females, but... No, I, d I don't get any bitches. Favorite Naruto character? I do like Naruto, but he's obviously not my favorite character. Probably Itachi. I think Itachi is pretty sick. What do you ask when you get a haircut? When I first got my haircut, I asked for a taper fade, medium length on the top. What are your hobbies next to lifting? I don't really do much other than lift and watch anime and eat. So probably watching anime. <laughs> 
to be honest. Skin routine. Now, I've actually gotten this before. I think I posted it on YouTube a while ago, but I since privated it just because I'm not really a skincare enthusiast. But when I wake up, I don't actually wash my face. I throw some cold water on my face in the morning, but that's about it. After the gym is when I actually shower. I use a Neutrogena face wash. And then after that, when I dry my face, I'll use Tazeratine and Amzeek, which are just two topical creams and moisturizers that my dermatologist prescribed to me. Then at night, I wash my face again with a CeraVe cleanser. And then I apply Keep Acne Scar Cream just for my scarring. I also try to change my pillowcase every night just so that the oil doesn't absorb it in my skin. But yeah, that's pretty much my routine. Do you study with your girlfriend? I don't really know why you guys keep asking about my girlfriend. She does not exist. The only time I've ever had a girlfriend was sixth grade. I think I dated her for like a month. But yeah, I went to, I think, a haunted house with her once and I held hands just because it was scary. And I think that's to the extent we went to. Ass or tits? I mean, that I feel like that's just a super disrespectful question. Ass. What was your most embarrassing high school experience? Well, actually, I do know this one, but actually going back to when I was dating that girl, one of the things we would do in the morning, we would go get breakfast at the cafeteria and they would sell like pancake on a stick, which was just like sausage wrapped in pancake and you would dip it in like syrup. It tasted really good. And I'm pretty sure on the way back, we were going up the stairs to go back to our class. And I think I like tripped and fell or something. And I like dropped all the syrup on the floor and it was like a massive bowl of syrup but i can't remember like i'm not even sure if that really happened obviously that wasn't in high school i was in sixth grade but nothing really happened in high school i was just one of those kids who didn't really talk much so yeah i mean i didn't really do anything crazy do you plan on being a professional bodybuilder i do eventually want to do a bodybuilding competition i just think it'd be sick but no probably not professionally i'll never get my pro card ifbb pro that's pretty much out of the question for me what's your favorite protein flavor between salted caramel and strawberry cream both of those flavors are extremely good was cr7 your first workout inspiration i'm not even even sure where people learned that I like Cristiano Ronaldo, but no, he wasn't my first workout inspiration. He used to be the biggest inspiration to me when I was a kid. I used to have one of his jerseys hanging up like right under there underneath my trophies. Those are all my soccer trophies, by the way, back in like when I played rec league when I was like eight. I'm honestly not even sure why those are still up in my room, but no, my first workout inspiration was actually, it's actually really specific. The first thing was watching Tom Holland's lip sync battle versus Zendaya. There's one clip where I think he's like dancing in all the water with like all the guy dancers next to him. And he puts his arms out like this and his triceps look like fucking shredded. I did that with my arms and my arms were like sticks. And I'm like, I, I, want, I want my triceps to look like that. So I honestly started working out slightly because of that. And the other thing was the other and better Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire. Obviously that really famous scene in the first Spider-Man movie when he gets bitten by the spider and he gets super balked up and shredded. That also got me to start working out because I'm like, I want to have a six pack. So real quick, I want to give a shout out to Routine Vitamins who is today's sponsor of this video. Routine is a personalized micronutrient subscription service that sends you 30 packs of vitamins each month tailored specifically to your needs. Through a simple online survey as well as a DNA and a blood test shipped to your house, Routine can create your own custom micronutrient vitamin based on your genetics, your goals, the foods you eat, the foods you don't eat, and pretty much anything you can think of. If you want to know more or you want to sign up for yourself, the link will be down in the description. And let's get back to the Q&A. Thoughts on Amogus. Us. What is your dream career? Honestly, this. What I'm doing right now is my dream career. Getting fit, getting jacked, and making videos. What else would you want in life? How long did your bulk take? Well, currently the bulk I am on, I started in August. I'm gonna try and go until April 1st, so I got another two months left at least. So it'll be about an eight month bulk. The year before last year, in 2020, I got to 173 pounds at my heaviest. Currently I'm 178 and I'm trying to get to 185. Do you have a favorite cheat meal? I don't actually eat too many cheat meals actually. The only time I ever eat out is when I get Chipotle and I wouldn't really even count that as a cheat meal. I do have like cheat snacks, I would call them. Like my mom just recently made chocolate chip cookies. Probably once every two days, I'll just grab one and eat it. I did have a massive cheat meal once. One of my friends threw in a great value pizza in the oven and it was supposed to be for all of us, but it was a supreme pizza. No one was eating it. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. You know, I'm just going to eat a couple slices. I ended up eating the whole thing. It was like 1500 calories, probably even more than that. Maybe like 2,500 calories. I'm pretty sure I gained like seven pounds the day after. It was pretty bad. Do you have top teeth? This is actually another question I get quite often. I made a video on it like a really long time ago on my TikTok, but the reason I don't actually show my top teeth when I talk, I used to have a big gap in between my two front teeth and I was really self-conscious of it. So I did like my best to try and talk without showing my front teeth. Like right now, my front teeth, if I can try and talk and show them, they're fine. But because of my self-consciousness 10 years ago, I can no longer smile correctly. It looks like I have no top lip and my mouth is just fucked. How did you get started on your fitness journey? One of the first 
reasons that I actually really wanted to start lifting was just because I was doing nothing with my life. I would come home from school, literally go to bed for about six hours, wake up at like 9 p.m. and just like grind Fortnite or FIFA or something. And I realized like I'm kind of depressed. I had like no hopes and dreams. I was just gonna go to college to be a math major just because it was the only thing I was good at. So I just decided, you know what? Let's just get jacked. What position are you in soccer? When I used to play in high school, I was a winger. But before that, I was a striker. I've always been an attacker. I am absolutely awful on defense. I don't know how to defend for my life. But yeah, when I played soccer, I was just always the skinny, fast kid. That, that was pretty much me. Best snack or meal for bulking? Mixed nuts or any type of nuts are definitely the best snack for bulking. I actually used to have like a big thing of nuts that I would keep on my desk. While I was editing videos or something, I would literally just grab handfuls of nuts and eat them. I literally had to take the container of nuts and like lock it away in my closet just to make sure I didn't do that because I was just gaining too much weight. I was just eating way too many calories way too many nuts. Yeah, they're super healthy for you. Really easy to carry around if you were to bring like a little container of them in your backpack to class or to school or something like that. What's your body count? I know this is surprising to most, but my body count is actually zero. There was one time I ever got close to a girl in college. I think it was freshman year. I was at a party with a couple of my friends and there was this girl who came up to me and I was friends with her friend from high school. And I think she told me like, yeah, this girl's kind of into you. But me being, you know, the fitness nut at the party, I didn't really drink. So she was drunk. I was sober. It was kind of awkward. She was like dancing on me and I was just like, I don't know what to do. And that was pretty much the end of it. I think I got her Snapchat. She didn't snap me after that. I didn't snap her. I don't really want to remember this experience much longer. Thoughts on your genetics? Personally, I think my genetics are pretty solid. I think my chest is probably my biggest weak point just because my lower chest is super underdeveloped in terms of like my upper body. I think my bicep genetics are probably my best. I've always been a skinny kid in my life. When I do get really lean, I just look good. And that was all the questions that I had. Obviously, I probably had a lot more than that. I kind of filtered through some of them because a lot of them were asking the same thing some of them i just didn't feel like responding to but anyway that wraps up the q a thank you guys so much for 300,000 subscribers as you can see the 100k plaque is right there i'm gonna have to find a better spot for it but that wraps up the video i hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you guys next time